What's up, YouTubers? So I got this video. Uh, I bought this 2003 Dutch Ram two days ago, 1500. Uh, it has the Hemi 5.7. And I was driving it fine until uh, I did a stop and then all of a sudden uh, it stopped working. So here's the key. I wanna start it so you guys can see how it sounds. So it kind of shuts off, kind of goes and shuts off. So I just bought new spark plugs, all 16. I um, checked the gap in this ones, on the ones they had on there, and it went all the way to 100, point 100. So they were really bad. Uh, so it was time for spark plug change. Um, I can't figure out yet what the problem is. Um, I did put starter, starting fluid on that vacuum and it start, started and then it went off, shut off. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put all the new spark plugs in because apparently they're all bad. They're old, old. So I'm gonna do that first. And then from there, I'm gonna try to clean. Well, I'm gonna replace the the mass air flow sensor. I'm gonna replace that one. I'm gonna clean a little bit of the throttle body, see if that works, um, and go from there. Any suggestions? Let me know. Uh, I'm gonna keep on upgrading this video and as we go. So okay, guys. So a review. Uh, I put all the spark plugs uh, and they're all dry so it means that you know it's been firing pretty good but they're all really a big gap on it so they're 0 0.100 so they were very I think this is the original one so I feel sorry for this truck it was a little pain on the butt but as long as you take this off the bottom pops out leave it open you can work on it, it's possible. Um, the only thing I needed to, to use was this one, a wrench, and this one right here, which is a long one, and then a short one like this, which you're gonna definitely need it for the three inch, yeah, three inch um, for the back ones, for the two back ones, and then you're gonna need this one right here uh just a, a little longer one uh for the front ones makes it easy but that's all you guys need and then the uh obviously the spark plug socket which is a 5 8 uh with the plastic in there so anyway i changed them all finally uh i started up i cleaned all the sensors because i was there i cleaned the body uh the throttle body clean it out there a little there was kind of dark little stuff clean this sensor clean this one too you know I just as I was going so finally guys I checked it I went back they were still the same it didn't start so I was wondering why why it didn't start still because you know I just there was no fuel uh, the injector injectors the little valve I kind of push it in, which I can show you that way you guys know where it is. It's on this side. Once you get this off, it's this one right here. This one, and then a little bit of the a little bit of front, right? Somewhere right here on that two. On that two where where the valve is for the gasoline. There's a little tube, like a tire thing. You push it and there was air coming out. There was no fuel. And that's how you know there's a fuel. So I figured there was something with the fuel. Um, then I, I then I used the starter fluid. I put it I put it in this tube right here. And every time I sprayed it, I try to turn it on, and it kind of wanted to turn on for a little bit, and then shuts off. 
So I figured it was something to do with uh, with the fuel, not with with the spark plugs. So I went back and I was like, okay, uh, where's the keys? Okay, I got the keys. Sorry, guys. So I, I turned it on and guys, it says here that I got 43 miles left. Okay, over here it says it's half of one quarter of a tank, but somehow it is not <laughs> because I... Next thing I figure it was the fuel pump, so I was underneath and I was hitting the 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 tank, the fuel tank, and it, it felt kind of empty. So I grabbed a little bit of gas. I was like, you know what? Let's try it. Nothing to lose. I put some on there, and as soon as I put that on, <laughs> guys, it just turned on. So, guys. Even though this one says, you know, one, you know, half of one quarter and 43 miles, there was none. There was no gas. There was no gasoline. So for those that have a issue trying to start it, for some reason, I don't know if something was messed up because it says 43 miles left before empty, but apparently there was no fuel on it so i don't know if there's a something going on there but you know like i i research it i google it um you know if it if it wants to start but it, you know if, if it turns on but it won't start there was two things to look at one it was a spark plug if there was a spark or two if there was a fuel coming in so i checked on those two and I uh, finally noticed that there was no nothing wrong with the spark plugs, even though it needed new spark plugs. Definitely uh, needed new spark plugs, but nothing else was wrong with it. And then fuel, I figured there was something going on. That's when I put the little starting fluid on that and that vacuum uh, hose and it wanted to start and then it shot off so i knew there was something and i was afraid that it was the you know the fuel pump because it's 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 a it's a work it's a hard work to do a fuel pump replacement uh, but that's what it was guys check make sure you guys have gasoline in there if you guys have this issue and um hopefully you guys can figure it out thank you guys for watching have a good day